Alrighty, boys. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to another Fish Bro video. Okay, so what do we have for you today? These are the patch notes that we have for White Mane. Okay, I will be bringing you a rundown of the patch notes from the change logs, essentially. So I will summarize all the changes made in the White Mane change logs, trying to make it roughly about maybe five minutes, eight minutes max uh, for a video. Uh, give or take, anything less than 10 minutes would be ideal for these weekly patch notes. Uh, so for the first one, uh, Nax Ramus, we have... Uh, first off, let me start flying so you guys don't have to see me just stand still. Um, we have Patchwork. He has had his attack speed increased. I believe. So his new attack speed is every 750 ping. It was at 1200 ping. Uh, so, I don't know what that means, honestly. Like, I'm clueless on what that means. I mean, yeah, I, I have no idea on how ping messes with attack speed. Uh, but it is what it is, so I think it, uh, Patchwork's attack speed was buffed a bit. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, they fixed a bug where using your pet skill manually will reset their attack command. Uh, this was not intended, so now your pet will no longer... Uh, have their attack command uh, reset. Also, there was a, a mail bug. Uh, if you send mail to somebody... Sorry, Jesus, voice crack. If you send mail to somebody, the items would not come back to you if they did not read the mail. Okay, that's a crazy bug. But they fixed it. Okay, so it's a pretty, pretty good bug fix that needed to be mentioned. <laughs> There's a bunch of trivial bug fixes on like random quests around the around the server. So anytime you guys submit a bug fix, it will get fixed uh, fixed up quickly. Uh, Patchwork's hateful strikes threat mechanic has been improved, so now the tanks will be more likely to get the hatefuls. They're fixing that up a little bit. They also fixed the bug for Kill Jaden, right? So Kill Jaden was spawning twice. After you would wipe, so some people were crazy enough to try to were to try to progress double kill Jaden kills. <laughs> so what would happen was you would wipe intentionally, you would come back in and you would try to fight two kill Jadens at the same exact time and try to do insane damage and cleave them both down, and your healers would have to struggle through that. So I don't know any of the guilds that were successful at progressing that, but like some guilds were uh, crazy enough to try doing that. Where you would fight two kill Jadens at the same time. So that was a bit nutty. Uh, sorry for the beep. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fixed. Tailoring cloaks. Ooh, this is a big one. Tailoring cloaks now have a cooldown. Did you know that? So, tailoring cloaks before, we're just going off and off and off and off and off. That sounds insane. So, yeah, they have a proper cooldown and they bug fixed all of that. Uh, you can now revive dead players from the opposite faction. So, if I'm Horde and you're Alliance, you can now res me when I die, and vice versa. If we're in a raid before, you would not be able to res people from the other faction, or in a battle round, or something like that. I don't know exactly how that works, but they fixed it completely. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Firestone now has a 24-hour duration. Uh, Decimate on Gluff no longer one-shots people at 5% health. So if you were below 5% health, Decimate would kill you. Also, big, big sad note, Sun Loot. The, the legendary axe, Sun Loot got nerfed bad down to... Tw they made the, the cooldown, the proc, they gave it a 12-second internal cooldown. And people raged about it. So they they reduced that down to 6 seconds. But it's still a hefty, hefty proc nerf for warriors, especially who are proccing the heck out of it. Um, it has a six-second internal cooldown, which means that it's just a straight-up nerf. It's not good, like in, in like not beneficial uh, to the player in any regards because not being able to proc it means you just have a zero percent chance to proc it if you proc it. Like if I proc it for the next six seconds, I can't proc it. Right? That's what the internal cooldown means. So, I can only get up to 10 procs a minute if I get 100% proc rate, uh, which is likely not to happen. So, you're probably looking at like 7 to 8 procs a minute max 
and that's pretty sad for anybody using sun loot because the damage was nice it was really nice being able to use the legendary and you like worked your butt off and now they had to nerf it it is what it is though <laughs> so yeah sun loot got nerfed sad to, to hear about that uh seething revenants so over here in Storm Peaks, as long as you have not done your Sons of Hodir questline on the character that you plan on farming with, you can fly over to the Sons of Hodir uh, area where those fire elementals are before you did the questline, and you can go kill those fire elementals, and they're on a one-minute cooldown now. They reduced the, 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 the respawn timer from two minutes to one minute. So they are on a one-minute respawn timer, and you can farm them for uh, elemental fire, which is really nice. So... They doubled the rate at which you could farm those. Uh, as uh, ascended raids. I will get to this after I admit, uh, I s talk about the Thelmist bugs. So Thelmist was uh, doing some funky stuff like double backflips and dancing uh, on your corpses after you died. So they fixed all that Thelmist bugs. Um, he, he was like still flying around while, while like you wiped, right? And like you had to stay in combat, something like that. So... They, they made it where the wipe would actually, like, reset the boss entirely instead of, like, have him continue flying, I think. Uh, so, the biggest change of this patch has been saved for last. I will uh, go over this. This is huge. Now, listen up, guys. Listen up. Listen. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm messing with you guys too much. Um, Ascended Raids no longer lock you out of loot. You don't have to finagle with the loot. You do not need to go from master looter to group loot or do any of that BS. None of that nonsense. Starting on this reset ID, so starting on Wednesday, you will be able to do 10-man ascended, 10-man normal, and 25-man normal, all without thinking about it. Like, it's just extra loot for you at this point. If you want to do the raid, you can do the raid. You can get the loot. It's extra loot. There's no problem, no worries. None of that like extra BS where you got to worry about, oh my god, my 25-man loot is going to get locked out. My 10-man loot is going to get locked out. How do I sneak this? How do I finagle this? Like, Do I, do I, uh, do I like fucking master loot it? Do I put group loot and then switch to master loot or something? None of that. None of that nonsense is here. You just... Do the raid as you normally would, and you just have a good time. So it's just having a good time at this point. Smooth sailing. So uh, this was one of the biggest changes, and I think this was the smartest change, honestly. Like, I could not have made a better suggestion than this. Uh, this just lets everybody just do more raiding. Like, who doesn't want to do more raiding? And you do your ascended raid, and you get to do more raids. You don't need to do it, but you can if you want to. If you want to get that item really badly, go do your 25-man raid. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. Well, let's do it on 10-man ascended. Oh, man, I still didn't get it. Well, better luck next week. You still have two chances instead of one chance, so you don't have to cry about it. You still uh, can get it. Uh, so, yeah, this, it's a really good really good luck to be able to like be able to get more loot that way. I think it's a, I think it's a great idea that the, war, uh, the white main staff, sorry, the white main, uh, the white main staff are taking uh, taking the advice of the player base and doing what they need to do to to make players happy. So this was a huge change. Um, yeah, so that was the last change to cover. The sun loot changes, the ascended changes. Uh, those were huge. Some of the bugs were massive that we like. Like I'm glad got fixed. The mail bug was huge. Uh, so I'm glad to share with you guys the patch notes and cover all of them. And tell you exactly what was going on with the changes. You'll need to read through all the change logs yourself. You just listen in while uh, while I fly around farming. You can listen in, put this on in your background, and uh, you know I'll be doing these patch notes every single week, so you know what's happening. So you, uh, if you're coming back from work and whatnot, you don't need to like study up on the patch notes every uh, every day. And you know, oh, is something big changing or something? You know, you you can just listen here. Uh, so you just listen to my videos, and I'll cover them. So, yep, uh, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next week on uh, next patch notes. Uh, next week should be around the 30th, right? So, yeah, on the 30th, I hope to see you guys in the next video. At that point, uh, see you later. Have a good one, and bye.